Hi there, RC model geekers. Geekers. And uh, I'm Mad Colin. I'm usually by behind the camera. But Mad Hatter Colin. Mad Hatter Colin, yeah. Uh, welcome to part five. Five, yeah, it's part five. Of the... Um, Build. Of. The. Cirrus. Moth. Moth. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can see why he's uh, behind the camera, can't you now? Oi. Well, so anyway, there you go. There's, there's Mag Colin uh, in his party gear, mm. ready to go out on the pool. Yeah, up the Guildhall steps. <laughs> Guildhall steps, and a few Portsmouth. Pass from yeah. <laughs> 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 anyway, normal viewing will be resumed very shortly. Yes, very shortly indeed. I'm back to normal now. Back to normal. Behind wow. the camera. Normal is well. Yes. Oh yeah. Yeah. Right. It's okay. So, anyway. Normal viewing has resumed. It has. It has. So, part five, as Colin almost remembered, um, of the Cirrus Moth build. Mm-hmm. Progressing quite nicely. Yeah. We've uh, we've shaped the front. We have indeed. Um, and that's sort of temporarily uh, on there. I've um, got a few bits on. Um, blah, 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 blah. Slots in, slots in. <laughs> all varnished up uh, and stuff. Um, right, today um, we will be putting in the servos for the rudder and the elevator. Hmm. And also making some horns out of glass fibre board. Hmm. So that is our plan. Yes, we have to extend the horns because the standard long horns that come with the servos aren't long, long enough. enough. Oh, a postman's bin. Oh yes. Uh, we've got the covering for the body. Mm -hmm. uh, this is gloss tex. Um, so it's it's like soda tex, so it's a fabric covering, but mm -hmm. it's gloss painted. So there you go, as you can see, nice and shiny. It's very shiny. So that is going on there. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be the colour of the fuselage. So it's going to be blue and silver. The yeah. So yes, yeah, so the first thing I think is we'll um, we'll put the servos in here. Mm -hmm. Make the horns that come out here. Uh, and mount them on the servos. What do you say, Mad Colin? Oh, so it sounds like a very good idea, Rob. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? So we'll uh, we'll get on with that, and if there's anything exciting happening, we'll video it. Of course we will. Hey! Cheers! Oh, also, um, thanks to our latest Patreons. Uh, cheers for that, uh, Gary and and Brian. Awesome. So that's uh, ticking along nicely. So don't forget, you know, support us. Yeah. Um, buy us tea, biscuits, coffee. Yes, jammy and, dodgers. And other goodies. Yeah. And we can do other stuff. Things are progressing. Oh yes. We've done the uh, the rudder servos. Notice two because we're using two mm -hmm. um, to do a uh, a pull pull, uh, and we wanted them to be mounted out the side, the arms mounting out the side. So we made up some um, some extended arms out of uh, fiberglass printed circuit board material. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll paint these, give make them like you know metal, paint them silver or something. Um, we haven't drilled the holes for the um, for the wire yet, and we'll do that once we've got the tail on and stuff, get the positioning right. So yeah, these will um, fit into the fuselage, something like that, and then stick out the side and then run off to each half of the um, the rudder horn. So we've got a, a pull pull. So there you go, go But on. we're using two servos to do it. Yeah. Because we wanted that big arm uh, like that, basically. So, yeah, uh, and that's pretty much how it is on the full size. It's got two little arms that come out of the body um, and go down to the uh, down to the rudder. Hmm. So yeah, that's that completed. All we've got to do now is the two servos for the uh, elevator in here, mm -hmm. um, and uh, and then the fuselage is not far off being ready for covering. 
Just got to do a couple of plates, haven't we? With yeah, the... we're going to make some plates that just um, support the covering, um, you know, with slots in mm -hmm. for here. Um, got to finish the hatch here that we're putting in. Mm -hmm. um, give it a good old sanding. Uh, yeah, and it's, uh, it's getting there. So we'll probably be back after we've done the rear servos. Right. Right, we've continued on. We've made up two new horns for the rear servos. As can be seen here. There you go. There you go. Um, out of the same stuff. Um, glass fibre circuit board. So all we've got to do now is mount them in there. Like so. Like so, with the arms sticking out. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're pretty much not far off being finished on the fuselage for now. Hmm. So, uh, yeah, we'll make up some um, uh, some rails to mount these two and we'll be back with you. Okay. Be right back. Air work is done for the day. Oh, yeah. And for this episode. Hmm. Um, yeah, we've done the servos. So, if old mad Colin wants to zoom in here. Every okay. servos are uh, are in. And there you go, look. Okay, with the arms sticking out. The arms are probably a little bit long at the moment. We can trim those down after the event, but they're at least long enough <laughs> so yes. we can fine tune them. Um, we've done the sides here. We've put some surrounds around the horns so mm -hmm. that um, when it comes to cover it, you know, it's got something for the covering to uh, to stick to. Okay. And we've done the same at the back here as well. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so that's a real extreme close up there by man. Yeah. Colin. Yeah, you can see the detail, and as you can see, they're both sticking out. Yeah, we haven't done this side yet, but we've had enough of today. Yeah. Uh, that, feet are that, aching. That's to do. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that is almost nearly ready for covering. There's mm. not much more to do now to this fuselage, apart from a little bit of sanding and stuff, mm. get it nice and smooth. Um, the main parts are done. Hmm. Isn't that good? Yeah. So this is going to go back up on the bench for the uh, for the night, so yeah. I can have a little sleep. <coughs> and uh, yeah, bring it on. Bring it on. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, paint arrived. Um, this is solar lac. Oh no, it's not. Oh well, um, I don't know what happened. Oh, oh there it is, there's there the solar lac. <coughs> Next to uh, Colin's tickling stick. Yes. Tickle his fancy. Ooh, hey. <laughs> oh, I'll do that again. No. Oh. So this is solar lac, ocean blue. Mm -hmm. um, basically you, you can paint it on anywhere, like the wood and stuff that uh, we want to match the paint. Hmm. Um, yeah, so we'll be uh, using some of that. It's bloody expensive that stuff as well. Hmm. Uh, and yeah, and that's it really. Um, oh, and we also got, oh yeah, we got some, um, we wanted some green, um, because we're going to spray the inside sort of green and stuff, you know, old school. Um, we had this stuff, Army Issue Spray Paint. Look at that. NATO Green. I wanted something that was matte green to uh, to spray the insides. So, mm. um, yeah, uh, so we've got some of that to spray that up. Awesome. Uh, yeah, and that's it for now. Um, time for a rest and time for editing video. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, yeah, thanks to all our Patreons. Yeah. Uh, all three of you now, which is good. Um, yeah. Um, what was it? G Gary, um, Brian, and uh, Mark. What was it? Mark was the first one. Mm. Yeah. So uh, it's goodbye from Mad Colin there. And it's goodbye from Captain Rob. <laughs> goodbye. See you later, guys. Bye.